Hello, Miles Maeda here with more modern yoga movement videos for you. In this sequence, we'll be focusing on hip opening. Let's begin with the hands behind you. Just relax back and extend the legs so they're, your feet are a little wider than your hips. You're resting on your heels, feet flexed, and your knees are bent about 90 degrees. So we're going to roll on the heels so the knees go down to the floor to the right. So let the pelvis come up off the floor on the left side and then roll on your heels so your knees go to the left and just do your best to get both knees on the floor. And again to the right and the left. Your pelvis might start to travel forward so it's okay to scoot back. Bring the knees to the right and now let's spiral the upper body to the left and come to center bring your knees to the left let's spiral the upper body to the right and one more set let's bring the knees to the right spiral the body to the left and let's arch so keep your pelvis down but lift your chest look up and release roll on your heels so the knees go to the left spiral the upper body to the right and then arch the spine so you're lifting your chest, looking up, and back to center. Recenter yourself. Spread the legs a little wider, a little further away from you, but keep the knees slightly bent. The knees are about the same height as your toes. Keep your hands back behind you on the floor. And once again, just roll on the heels. Try to get both knees on the floor. And now the hip's going to come up a little higher, and you can even encourage the hip to open so that your hips are facing the right and your shoulders and chest are also facing the right. Come back to center and roll on the heels. Bring your knees to the left. Again, you can use your hand and encourage your pelvis to face the left and chest and shoulders should also be square to the left and center. You can also take your left hand and delay this rotation of the left leg so the knee comes down last and open up to the right. So you're feeling this in the left hip and take your left arm and sweep up, reaching through your fingers and you can gently push with that left foot and feel this nice arch on the left side of the body and come back to center, rolling on the heels. Same thing on the other side, you can delay the rotation of the right leg so that knee comes down last and then sweep that right arm up so you're reaching through your fingers and the right foot is gently pushing away so you can feel this nice opening this nice arch on the right side and center so that prepares us to do this last bit so bring your knees to the floor to the right sweep that left arm up and then release the left arm so it's between your feet. Now press down with that right hand. We're gonna press down with the feet and pop up. So the pelvis is gonna lift up. Inhale, extend the legs. Reach that left arm up and over. So you're facing the right side and it's a big stretch on the left side of the body. And sit down and let's rotate to the other side. Bring your knees to the floor, sweep that right arm up and then release. So the arm is in the midline between your feet. Press your left hand down, press your feet down, extend the legs and lift your pelvis up. So now you're facing the left side, big stretch on the right side of the body and sit down and let's go to the right once again. So we inhale, sweep that arm up, exhale, release the arm, prepare and inhale, press down and lift the pelvis up. Nice side arch on the left side and center. And last one, inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, release and prepare and then press down onto the floor as you lift up. Nice and easy side arch, stretching the right side and release. All right, imagine there's strings tied to your knees and the strings pull your knees up and then you relax the knees onto the floor facing the right. On your exhale, 
bend forward, bring your head down towards the floor. And again, open the arms and legs. And same thing, lift and bend the knees, face the left, and fold down, head towards the floor. So this is preparing us for our pigeon pose. Open the arms and legs. And let's do that again, going to the right, inhaling, exhaling down. Inhaling center. And to the left. Exhaling down. And center. All right. Recenter yourself so you can do pigeon pose on your mat. So let's turn to the right and extend that left leg behind you. And just check that that leg is lined up behind your hip. And the first step is to walk your hands forward just a little bit. Push with your hands, extend your elbows, and see if you can get the weight more centered in your pelvis so you're not putting too much pressure and weight on that front knee. So push, lift your spine, feel the lift up the front of the spine. It travels around the sides of the neck and the lift continues at the back of the skull. So shoulders down, long neck, and then walk your hands up. Inhale to the center, place your hands on your knees, and then exhale, just bend forward about halfway, nice and easy. Come up and pigeon pose on the other side. So sweep your right leg behind you, and it's good just to check that your leg is behind your hip. Square your pelvis, square your shoulders, and then walk your hands forward so your arms are about 45 degrees compared to the floor. So push with your hands, extend your elbows, get the weight centered more in your pelvis, feel a lift up the front of the spine, continuing to the back of the skull, shoulders down so you have a nice long neck. And just breathe. Walk your hands back and come to the center. Hands on the knees, we inhale, exhale, bending forward just about halfway and come back up. Pigeon pose to the right. Just sweep that left leg behind you. You can always use props if you need to. You can sit on a blanket here. Now we're gonna add some more deeper twists so we can walk our hands forward. And if you feel you can go forward or further, you can come all the way down, head onto the floor. And if you have trouble doing the twists, then just practice in this position. Otherwise, walk your hands back a little bit, inhaling, and then slide the right arm under the left arm, and we'll spiral to the left. So this is the easier side. You can place your hands in prayer position, push that top hand down on the bottom hand to encourage the spiral in the spine. And if it feels okay for your head and neck, you can look up, shoulders down, long neck. Place the hands in front of you, and we'll do the other side. This is a little more challenging. Take your left arm, slide it under the right arm. If you can, you get your shoulder down onto the floor. And then again, place your hands in the prayer position. Push that top hand down on the bottom hand, and spiral. And if, again, if it's okay for your neck, you can turn your head and look up. Shoulders down, long neck. And release. Walk your hands back. And come back to the center. If you feel like you can go further, inhale. And you can exhale, slide your hands down towards your feet. Bring your head down towards the floor. Inhale back up. Pigeon pose on the left. So just get into pigeon pose that works for you and push with your hands and then walk your hands forward if you can rest your head on the floor if it's difficult to do this you can always rest on your elbows or hold your elbows and rest on your forearms but if you can go further we will add the spirals you walk your hands back come up a little bit take your left hand and slide it under the right arm bringing the shoulder down to the floor and again, this is 
the easier side. Press that top hand down on the bottom hand and spiral. If you can, look up towards the ceiling. And feel this reach from the crown of the head, or the crown of the head is reaching forward, and the energy is going out the foot through the toes. Unwind, come back to center. And take the right arm, slide it under the left. Here's the more challenging side. See if you can get your elbow onto the floor. Hands in prayer position. Press that top hand down on the bottom hand. Shoulders down. And just feel energetically. There's the line moving out of the spine and top of the head, as well as energy moving out the leg through the toes. And release. Come back up and come to center. Inhale and exhale. Come down as far as you like. And we'll do one more set. Come into pigeon pose. Now this is optional, but eventually someday you can do it if you practice. So for some people this might be challenging, other people it might be really easy. So we want to be in our upright position and it'll help if you squeeze, you engage the left buttock, that opens up the right hip flexors. So your shoulders are down, you're lifting up the front of the spine, let energy flow down the back of the spine and out the leg and foot. Walk your hands to the left and open your left arm. Now carefully bend the knee, see if you can grab onto the foot. And what we wanna do here is press the foot into the hand and pull with the hand. So you feel a nice stretch and opening in the arm as well as in the chest. And we're also opening the hip flexors. So again, push with your foot, pull with your hand and feel a nice lift. Gently release and we'll walk the hands to the right. So again, this is more the more challenging side. So do this carefully, see if you can Look at your foot first, and then make sure you're stable to be able to reach your right arm back behind you. And carefully bend the knee and see if you can grab your foot. Same thing here, press the foot into the hand, and you're stretching the arm, the shoulder, the chest. So we inhale, lift your spine, and you can keep turning your head, looking at your foot. And let's gently release, that's important, to release with control, and then come back to center. Inhale, again, let's come down as far as you like. Inhale back up, and to the left, pigeon pose. So center yourself in the pigeon posture and to keep the spine more upright, engage your right gluteus maximus, the buttock, and that will open the hip flexors and allow the spine to be a little more easily in the upright position. And then we walk our hands to the right. So before reaching the foot, make sure you feel comfortable and stable here. You're using this left hand here to support you and then reach the arm out. If you can go further, carefully bend the knee and reach for your foot. So you're pressing the foot into the hand, feel this nice opening in the arm and the chest, and you can turn and look at the foot. Long, deep breathing. And then carefully release and we'll do the other side, walk your hands to the left. This is the more challenging side. So first see if you can turn enough to look at your foot. You can just stay here as long as you like, but if you can go further, make sure your right hand is stabilizing you so your left arm can reach. You can stay in this position and then carefully bend the knee, reach for the foot and press the foot into the hand Feeling this nice stretching in the arm, the armpit, the chest. Continue looking at the foot. And then we carefully release. 
and come back to center. Inhale, exhale, bending forward as far as you like. Inhale up and just take a little rest in this position for a moment. Long, deep breathing. And then when you're ready, bring one foot in and then the other foot in. So you're sitting comfortably and relax. And that completes this sequence.